Hey guys, Ruby here with Unorthodox Aquatics and I just wanted to give you guys another update, show you guys what's going on in my polar blue tank. So you can see behind me what's going on in the tank. Nothing uh, super crazy, still got the three breeding pairs and uh, they are still going at it and uh, two of the females haven't popped yet but check this out here's the leucistic pair right here leucistic polar blue pair and mom's in there but look we got some babies in there they're such good parents. So I'm going to wait a day or two. I think they may have hatched yesterday, judging by when I saw the eggs in there a couple days ago. But, uh, yeah. Um, they are going uh, to be free swimming within a day or so. So what uh, some of you guys already know about me is that uh, in regards to this tank, uh, when fry are free swimming, I remove them, I siphon them out gently, and I usually stick them in a five gallon grow out, uh, just until, you know, I get a better idea of, uh, how they're reacting, how many will survive, this and that, but, um, with three breeding pairs being in this tank, it is super important that I, um, you know, uh, address taking them out because doing so will decrease aggression in the tank if there are babies or eggs around, definitely. So uh, these are my other breeding pairs, the two polar blues there, and then that's the female, and then the male leucistic is back there. Do they have eggs back here? I can't see very well. But since the polar blues have kind of taken over the front, the uh, leucistics have kind of taken either to the back or hanging out in this rock here. And uh, the polar blues have been switching, going in and out of uh, these three rocks, either trying to decide where to lay or where would be the safest spot for them. So what I will be doing still is checking them every day, um, looking at the pink bellies on the females, also see, uh, you know, monitor the other two females in there. Um, it looks like they still both may have, uh, may be carrying eggs. So I'm going to watch for them to thin out a little bit and, uh, you know, I'm just going to go from there. I'm kind of glad that there's not three batches of fry going on all that once all crazy because oh, that would just be weird. So, but um, like I said before, not super duper aggressive as of yet. I think if I did leave these, uh, the, uh, this batch of fry in there, that once they did start emerging out of uh, that safe little rock cave, that uh, the parents would definitely increase their aggression toward the other fish who get near them and things like that, so. Well guys, this has been Ruby again with Unorthodox Aquatics, and just wanted to give you guys another uh, blaze and gaze, you know, little update on the polar blue tank here, so. Um, thanks for coming by. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you like. And you guys have a great night. Bye.